gets in there, he realizes, oh, the store doesn't even have any cell phones. The store, it's empty because it's not done yet, which I don't think this burglar researched before entering it. So he probably thinks either I need to get out of here or I need to go look and see if it's hidden somewhere in the back. I think that's what led him to the hallway. So in this hallway that he's finding himself in, there is clearly the door that he entered the hallway with that is now closed. There's a door that looks almost like every single exit that we see in buildings that is not opened, but there is a mystery third door. It could just be an additional exit. We don't know, and the robber doesn't know either. So his lighter is up like he's at a concert looking for anything. Anytime you hear an alarm, you're gonna think, okay, who can hear that? Who's been alerted? Are police on the way? Okay, I need to act fast. He realizes he's in this dead end hallway and he's trapped. I have to imagine when he gets into this hallway and realizes there's no way out, there's this immediate fear, this immediate claustrophobia. The desperate would-be thief tries everything he can think of. I feel at first he's kind of just in the fight or flight and he's really trying to flight <laughs> right now. He uses donkey kicks, he uses front kicks. Like there has to be a way for me to get out of here. But nothing works. He has tools with him, because again, he broke into the store. He pulls out a hammer, and he starts trying to break the window of that door. The hammerhead breaks off. So now he has to think, oh my god, I don't even have any tools anymore. I just broke the only thing that could possibly get me out. In this moment, I feel Anything that is going through this burglar's mind would have to be bleeped out. I'm just imagining him saying every curse word imaginable. But what the hapless robber doesn't know is that this hallway is designed to be a trap. After losing thousands of dollars in 20 prior burglaries, the owner of this store constructed a dead-end hallway fortified with reinforced steel. He's like, maybe I can try this and you know, punch through this steel door, or maybe I can try this and donkey kick my way through this other door, or maybe I can try to climb up to a ceiling. He does eventually get into that other door, but he realizes it's just a closet and it leads to nowhere. After trying to kick down the other door for a while, he's completely given up. He decides to start drinking out of the spigot in the wall, he hydrates a little bit, which is important, I guess, if you're trying to break out of where you broke into. Rule of thumb, always carry a bottle of water on you wherever you go. After 45 long minutes, the police finally arrive. He absolutely has to be relieved that the police showed up. Even though he knows he's gonna be arrested, he knows he's at least not trapped in a hallway and gonna die of starvation or dehydration. The man is arrested, and the story about the trapped robber quickly goes viral. Usually, burglars break into a business, but not in this case. His escape plan was foiled, and he ended up getting caught on security cameras and getting trapped inside for nearly an hour. That door shuts, and you're done. You're not getting out of there. Watching the panic set in and seeing him just feel like this trapped rat in a cage, it's almost comical. It's almost like he thinks he could be like the Kool-Aid man. He almost knocks himself out trying to get through these doors. I think this robber might be one of the first robbers to shout hallelujah when the police came to arrest him, because otherwise, I think he would have just been stuck in there overnight or for weeks. 